Yeah, I kind of wonder if the new episode of Tiger King isn't going to be like, Hey, we appreciate that you liked our show, but please stop driving to Big Cat Rescue and uh, shouting through the door that Carol Baskin murdered her husband. <laughs> I've been seeing... <laughs> yeah, stop putting snakes in our mailbox, please. Yo, we're free. Dude, I am solving every puzzle in the game. Oh, the three light bulb trick. Traverse the Ocean View Motel. Hello? I don't think anyone's there, honey. Come on. We'll go to that motel we passed a while back. I guess we can just see if the door's open, right? We don't have to... You know what's crazy is that... Um, I saw on a video content distribution site... Designed for uh, micro content... That... Uh, Hold on. You said while looking left? I thought uh, I thought we were trying to get through that other door, though. Oh, maybe it's a double puzzle, maybe? I see. You gotta, like, open a door over here that allows you then to open the door, uh, get the key to the door over there. Anyway. There you go. Were you raising the barn? Anyway, regardless, uh, somebody had paid, I guess, Jeff Lowe and his wife will, for $100, record a video saying anything at all. So they paid uh, Jeff Lowe and his wife 100 bucks to pimp their product. And I was like, is that really the... Is that really what you want? Okay, so the chair is out, the radio's on the right, the the succulents on the left. Chair being out, I think is all we need. It is indeed all we need. Excuse me? Did you give us a key? Is there a key in here now? Do you ring the bell and receive a key? The third room opens. And you get a key. Okay. Understood. Homemade quesadillas are bomb. You're not wrong. I do love a homemade quesadilla. I like a restaurant quesadilla. The thing is, I don't want to get a quesadilla from a Mexican restaurant usually, because I would rather get other foods. I don't want to make my own burrito. I don't want to make my own huevos rancheros. A quesadilla, I can make at home. Just drop. Okay, okay. Excuse me. You took a shot at me on the way down? In my time of need? Oh, there's an orb somewhere. He's broken. He's not broken! He was sandbagging. Oh, there's the orb. gonna level with you. Spin? Not my gun. Not my gun of choice. Can't get up there, huh? I do appreciate 
it makes the enemies weak enough for me to yeet them into the ether. By and large, though, it's not my preference. But we're still amazing. We can't be beaten. I just broke a rock and got seven eggs. Please kill me. Dude, I gotta tell you, I'm the, I am the contrarian for this egg day stuff, I will admit. I, uh... I know that it's kind of annoying. Like, I don't, I don't necessarily think it's a good event, but, like, I am also surprised by how many people seem to be like, this is really impacting my enjoyment of the game. Like... You can get around, just stop stop fishing level 3s. And for rocks, like... You know. How, how much more clay and iron okay, do you need? Like, you gotta... You gotta have enough clay, iron, and stone to be, like, good for a bit, right? Plus, you can use your Nook Miles to go to other islands and get some more. Like, I just don't understand... All the all the negativity about the eggs. I know you get eggs on Mystery Islands too, but you also get access to more rocks, is what I'm saying. So you will get more of everything, including eggs, but also including iron and stone and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Yo. Dodge efficiency. Evade energy. Nah, it's not necessary. Inventory management. I sleep. You think we got to do two different switch puzzles here? Maybe not. It's so bright. This is like what you're used to your office looking like. When you realize one of your light bulbs has been burned out, so you replace it. I'm gonna let him play it out. Just kidding. I don't know. Like, I'm... It's not that I'm like, why don't people like the egg event? Because, like, I get it. Like, the... The rabbit's like... He's kind of weird. He's like a weird creature, for sure. I don't dispute that. But when people are like, it's actually made me stop playing the game, I'm like, damn, dude. I've noticed, like, essentially no difference at all. Damn, dude, you live like this? Don't worry, boys, I got him. I can pick up large objects. I do think there is a quarantine element too. We're in a unique situation. You know, when people are playing for a game that you're supposed to play 30 to 90 minutes a day and you're playing 10 hours a day, even a small distortion in that gameplay loop is... Uh, is magnified, I suppose. Speak with Erish. Isn't this the guy I made fun of last week? <laughs> Honestly, like, the only thing I'm mad at in Animal Crossing right now is that my village is still one star. When it was one star last week, I understood. Because... I didn't do anything to improve my village. But then, uh... His life is in your hands. Like, I, I put in a sauna, I put in a, a sweet, uh... During an AWE investigation like, a bunch of flower gardens, I put in an outdoor gym, and it was like one star.
You need more villagers. Okay. Inside, they found a door marked with an inverted. You must have nine villagers to get past one star. What the heck, dude? Some two thousand miles from Montana. Now we're finding the cord and increasing numbers throughout the bureau. Somehow the two places. Seven plus. Okay, okay. In tune to each other. The the actual physical location of the ocean view is 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 a mystery. Stepping beyond its walls has so far proven impossible. A place of power, like the oldest house. Research his notes. Anyway, that's my thoughts on Animal Crossing. It's one hundred percent my game of the year so far. I know it's uh, April, but still. I'm having a very good time. Oh, Arish, I bet you're in here. Is this a disguised loading screen? How'd you do on your happy home eval? I got a B, which I honestly thought was kind of generous. Glad to see you're still you. Hello. Thanks for bringing down that, whatever the fuck that was. But we are barely holding on here, boss. You talking about that weird uh, slinky that I killed? Tell him. The truth is harsh, but these people seem familiar with death. The hiss are everywhere. Most of the bureau is lost. We need Black Rock Prism to make more HRAs for any survivors in the safe rooms. I'm here to check Darling's Black Rock lab. So to recap, uh, death, disaster, and imminent destruction. The day at the FBC. I'm not saying anything about this guy. Just past Black Rock processing. I got good news and I got he looks on that front. like a normal man good with the proportions is, of an adult all. male. Bad news is a hiss monster has decided to move in, so that's great. Pants are a little high waisted, but that's what the Rangers said. The ones that survived anyway. Sure, underneath all that, he's got but a very water here proportional and normal human form. Salvador would know what to do, but apparently he took a security team into the containment sector just before the lockdown happened. I'm not saying that well, no one's seen him since. when okay. he requisitioned that HRA vest, he did it from the children's department. They don't know me. I'm not saying that. He probably they was able to just get an extra small them. men's You're size. Job here, Arish, but you should take your people and get to the base and executive. I'm not saying you it. Can regroup there. I'll go deal with this monster. I'm getting kind of used to them. Aye, aye, Faden. And be sure to put a bullet in that thing for me. He do got the birthday cake, though. When did we switch from calling it uh, a peach to a birthday cake, by the way? Like, how many different emojis can be used to talk about a posterior? About a year ago? That seems about right. For me to be about a year behind. About that monster. Seems about right. Let me in. You showed me the HRA when I The peach wasn't here. the butt, dude. And the machine that makes them. No, the peach was the Really? Are you telling me the peach is the The peach is the front, not the back? I thought for sure the peach was the... Yeah, yo, thank you, thank you. Peach is the butt. I felt extremely gaslit for a second there. Thank you. I appreciate the Zoomer translation in chat. Shit. They're shattered. Not a single prism left. My black rock prisms, dude. Yo, this is a Valkyrie from God of War? The peach is the balls. We do need a ball emoji for sure. The phallus gets so much attention. Dude, I am, like, dead. The cherry is the balls? Really? I did not know. 
Can you just like... Like if you're gonna kill me, just kill me? Surely there's a way to make you show up. I got chunked on, dude. Well, women blow and men chunder. You better run. You better take cover. Oh, do you know what the ball emoji is? Is that a Dorito emoji on Twitch? Yep, there it is. The ball emoji. What are you talking about up here? I already spoke to you. Plus, I forget where you are. Were you through here? You were through here. I don't want to talk to you. Okay, we don't have to. Thank you. All right, but wasn't kidding about that monster. Cursed hallway. You showed me the HRA when I first got here. I come in and I go there shattered. Can you help me find the prism? I'm not even supposed to be here. Yo, you're right. It's a great strat. Just yeet objects. <laughs> Just eat objects and hope you hit her. <laughs> it's just that easy. I don't play by any game's rules except my own. Oh, yes. When the frequencies match, other dimensions leak in. We call these areas thresholds. The quarry is one of the more stable thresholds in the maintenance sector. That's that's where Black Rock comes from. You heard that too, right? Hello, three rainbow trout. Threshold. Nice to Army. nice to see you in the copy pasted so, message again. The prisms must be there too. I was just thinking the other day. I was like, is rainbow trout still around? Our research involves many dangerous things. We absolutely need to keep in check. That's what the Black Rock line firebreaks are about. The panoptical container cells. Uh, sorry to interrupt, sir, but I need to code the body elevator. Oh, uh, Emily. I'm making a video! Codes, Black Rock 665. Neighbor of the Beast. <laughs> Get it? 665. Got it. Mom, Dark Souls doesn't have a pause button. It's me when I get a delivery midstream. Clearance level five. Number five, are you kidding me? That is right, I did it. Who do you think you are? I am. What color traffic light is my name associated with? Emerson. You're one of those lights. It's not just green, but it stays green until a pedestrian hits the crosswalk. You're never going to get caught by that light unless uh, unless someone's trying to cross the street. The greenest of green lights. Ever tell you guys about how... Um, the first time I drove in Vancouver, I almost died. Now that's the hook, and now I bring it back. Um, I learned to drive in Ontario. In Ontario, when you're turning left, sometimes you get an arrow that points to the left, which is beautiful. Sometimes you get a blinking green light. And at least back in the day, I don't want to be held responsible if they've changed it. Back in the day, a blinking green light indicated that you had a protected left turn. I.e., the people that are coming straight when you're turning left, 
don't have a green light. They have a red light. First time I came to British Columbia, came to a blinking green light and went, uh, is that a protected left turn? Those cars on the other direction are coming real fast. Maybe I'll just wait it out. I waited it out and they went straight. And then I went, Kate, what is a protected green, or what is the blinking green light? And she was like, oh, that means this light is actually controlled by the pedestrians. So when a pedestrian hits the cross the street button, Uh, well, it's, it's letting you know that the light could turn amber very quickly when a pedestrian wants to cross. Both systems, I think, are, are totally fine. I do think nationally, they should probably uh, standardize it, though. <laughs> Advanced green is is way more useful. Oh, I agree, but like Vancouver like it Anyone here from the lower mainland if we have a big problem in the city traffic wise is 100% that uh, We have a lot of major like north south and east west Corridors like roadways very very few of them have protected left turning lanes and even fewer of them have protected uh, lights. So you really are just turning into oncoming traffic quite frequently. Like I very yeah, like LA. That's a, that's a very good comparison. Get down the old -fashioned way. I very rarely am able to turn left on a green light. I pretty much exclusively have to wait until the light turns yellow and then wait for six cars that drive straight through the yellow and red to go through and then I get to go through, um, you know, after the light has been red for three or four seconds. It's pretty much the standard here. Okay, get down the old-fashioned way. I didn't know there was another option. That's why I love, like... When I go uh, to my hometown and my parents complain about how bad this- Ooh, no, that's bad. Splattered. <laughs> my parents complain about how bad the traffic is and like... Uh, how, how selfish the drivers are. Every time I'm in my hometown, I'm like, everyone here is so nice. They're all going, you, you go first, you go first. Although it is annoying. Like... Here's my impression of uh, four Canadians go getting to a four-way stop within three seconds of one another. Darling's key. This and then into the quarry. legend says they're still stuck there to this day. Hold on. Did I go the right way here? <laughs> I think I went the wrong way. <laughs> go the, the signs. The signs are helpful. We gotta open this thing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No? Okay, we're going up. My mistake. That's what I meant. Are there roundabouts in Vancouver? There are roundabouts in uh, in Vancouver. Mostly in like the... Off of the major thoroughfares, there's a lot of roundabouts in like the more residential parts. I... Oh, well, shouldn't have done that, huh? Just keep going. <laughs> I don't dislike a roundabout though. I, I got nothing. I got nothing against a roundabout. As long as people use it properly, a roundabout is nice. The only thing that's very like me alone in a roundabout, I'm like ah, this is a great time. Me entering a roundabout as the same as another driver is basically like a 50% chance to die in a fiery wreck of molten iron and glass. Because 
I would say, honestly, like 95% of people here know how to use roundabouts properly. 5% enter a roundabout, and then if they need to turn left, they just go left around the roundabout instead of following it around for, you know, the 270 degrees that they need to. They just take the, the straight up 90 degree pass. Why? Cause cause their their turn is right there. They need to go left. Why would I go right to go left? That's stupid. You wouldn't understand. But the roundabouts are they tend not to be very busy around here. Because they're in neighborhoods that are like Honestly, like a lot of uh, Vancouver, and I actually quite like this about the city, a lot of Vancouver is kind of um, inhospitable for drivers to the benefit of pedestrians and cyclists. So there tends not to be very much traffic on those streets to begin with most of the time. Can you just stop moving? I'm just going to be honest. I don't even know what hit me. He's done it? Okay. No, he has not done it. It has not been done. What a shot. What a shot. I'm free. No, I'm not free. Please, the health elements. I desire the health elements. Okay, now we're free. Oh! Oh! I'm not going to worry about that guy. So anyway, that's my thoughts on uh, roundabouts. But honestly, I haven't driven in like... At least three weeks. So I'm just hoping I even remember how to do it. The next time I have to go. What are your thoughts on Roundabout by Yes? It's probably my second favorite Yes song. Second to Close to the Edge. I mean, Close to the Edge is like... It's one of the best songs ever made in my opinion. I'm safe. Top three breakfast cereals? I don't eat a lot of cereal, but I have eaten a lot of cereal. That's a tough one. In Canada, we have a cereal, and I, I know I've said this word for word before. In Canada, we have a cereal called Oatmeal Crisp. That is... Like, branny enough to make you think it might be good for you but also glazed with a simple syrup that is delicious. It's very, very tasty. And that's kind of like my go-to cereal. If I buy cereal. I will say, you, you would think that I would be a healthy cereal guy because my character on the internet is 500 years old. Um, but I actually, when I when I get cereal, I'm not quite on maximum sugar, but I'm like midway between like adult cereal that is just like cornflakes and kids cereal that is just like chocolate chip cookies in a bowl. So, like Frosted Flakes, I really like Frosted Flakes. Black Rock Quarry. 